Good morning, y'all. It's a really, really nice morning. Temperatures are good. I think the clouds are finally starting to clear out. So I think we'll have a nice day, which is good because you have a pretty awesome day. You're planning to go up to Grayson Highlands and the views up there should be be good then. And yeah. then of course you get to see the ponies. Uh, I'm going to take Twiglet back to Damascus today and then I'm hoping to head up to Grayson as well and see the ponies because you know, they're ponies. I got new shoes. Yeah, so you have how many miles left to go? Uh, I think 520, somewhere around in there. Yeah, so we're kind of hopeful that this will be the last pair that uh, he retires these shoes on the Springer. So that, that'll be cool. Yeah. If not, eh, we'll just get more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to trekking. All right, y'all, this is the old orchard shelter. And the privy is out that way.
All right, y'all, this is called the Fat Man Squeeze. We made it through, though. Let's get to trekking. All right, y'all, this is the Thomas Knob Shelter. And it's just started to rain on me.
All right, y'all. What a spectacular day of hiking that was. 25.3 more miles done. I can see the truck. There's Amethyst. Hi, honey. Oh. <laughs> finally made it. Yep. Long day for you. Long day. <laughs> Spectacular day. Yeah, it's what? It's like, yeah, it's 4.30, so. Yeah. Long day for you. Good evening, y'all. It is, let's see, right at 7.30 in the evening. So we've actually been hanging out in the cab of the truck for like the last three hours. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like so much longer than it has yeah. been. I guess technically the last two and a half because we spent the last 30 minutes getting things arranged back here and getting teeth brushed and such. So, yeah, because it's raining. Uh, literally, like just shortly before you got back to the truck it started to drizzle off and on just a little bit and then right after he got here like it started to actually yeah. rain in I got, earnest. I got rained on a little bit up on the mountain. Yeah and so we just hung out in the cab of the truck. It was supposed to stop by 7.30 at 7.30 and it's actually it was supposed to stop before 7 and then they realized it wasn't going to. You know how the weathermen are. they not accurate. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you're a weatherman watching but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. I got Twiglet um, back to Damascus, and she's going to continue on with her journey. She is getting off trail briefly, and uh, is planning to come back later to finish the rest of her hike. But um, got her back down to Damascus. I spent some time in town getting uh, the videos uploaded that I had planned. And honestly, by the time I got that done, because Wi-Fi connections were pretty um, sluggish, uh, I did not have time to go back up to Grayson Highlands to uh, see the ponies today. So that was kind of a wah, wah yeah. for me. But tomorrow's supposed to be better weather. So I'm actually going to go up there tomorrow um, before I meet him back at uh, the end of his trail for the day. So tell me about your hike today, honey. So I hiked 20, <laughs> 25.3 miles and yeah. <laughs> it was a spectacular day. Um, views from Grayson Highlands everywhere everywhere you know you turn around they're in front of you behind you everywhere views the ponies were amazing I saw six ponies and only four of which I could get video of because the other two were way far off in the distance um other than that though no other wildlife it's uh it's getting to be that time of year where you know, they're starting to hibernate. Yeah. I mean, other than obviously the deer, they'll be out all winter for you. But And we sound like, I mean, walking through the woods right now is like really loud. Yeah, so basically looking around, there's there's not hardly any trees left that have any leaves. Most of the leaves have completely fallen now. And where are they? They're on the ground. and yeah, <laughs> They're underneath Miss Hat's feet. So uh, the videos, I mean, at this point... Um, when I'm, it's, it's so loud, like just walking through the woods, it is super loud, just crunch, crunch, crunch the whole way. And the videos are almost difficult to edit because the noise is so loud for, you know, the, uh, the editing side of it. So I'm actually going to pop in a clip of just him walking through the woods at hundred percent volume because most of the time I'm editing the sound down so it doesn't blow your all's ears drums out <laughs> because it's like, at about somewhere between 8 to 12 percent volume is what I'm actually giving you guys um, throughout the video after the editing process. So I'll drop that clip in for you. Okay, so with the uh, leaves in mind, how was your mishap count today? The mishap count for the day is zero. Awesome. That's no, a good thing. And I had new shoes on. No slip and falls. No, yep. Yeah, I had a great day. Yep. And what else? I think that's everything. All right, then. All right. Like always, hit that subscribe button. Give us that thumbs up. Turn on those notifications. Leave a comment below. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.
all tired skins. All coyotes, guys. Pretty cool. I guess they're done. So much for the uh, pennies being the only wildlife for the day. Those were super close, too. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a hundred yards away at most. I mean, it's just across the road in the meadow. Yeah. Cool stuff. I love it. I was wondering if it'd scare them off, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and howl at the coyotes. <laughs> 